Hi, I'm Daniel, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to upload code to your color shadow lamp so you can get party mode or other new features that might come out in the future. I'm going to be using this crappy old laptop that uh, doesn't have anything on it, so we're kind of starting from scratch here. This is a PC, but you should be able to use a Mac too. And all you'll need to do this is a USB-C cable. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download VS Code on your Windows computer or Mac. They have it for Mac too. Um, I already have it installed. I lied. We're not totally starting from scratch. So this is the one right here. You got to download that. And I have it here. And here it is. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to extensions and now type in platform IO like that and then click on this one. See this? How it looks like this? Platform IO IDE. Click install and then wait till it's finished installing. Okay, great. It's installed. Now we need to go find the uh, Color Shadow Lamp firmware. So somewhere on the Color Shadow Lamp web page, there will be a link to code. You can click on the code. That will take you to GitHub. And that now you can go to the different branches. Let's see. So party mode is a different branch as of right now. So you'll want to select party mode as the branch. And now download zip. Click on that and then you should see it start to download. Done. Okay, great. Let's find that in the file explorer. And we can right click on that and then do extract all. And then extract so now just to make things simple, I'm going to take this folder and drag it to the desktop. Now I can just delete all this other stuff that's in the downloads folder. Okay. So if we go to the desktop and click on this folder, then you'll see this stuff inside it. That's what it should look like. So we can close this now. Now go to VS Code, go to File, Open Folder, and then go to the desktop and find that folder that you just downloaded. Color Shadow Lamp Party Mode. And then click select folder. So now we have opened. Uh, yes, I do trust this author, which is me. It's actually Paul. Shout out to Paul. So if we click on these little documents up here that's called Explorer, um, you'll see the files in that folder on the desktop. So SRC main. This is the main code that runs on the color shadow lamp. How neat is that? It's pretty neat. Platform IO is going to be doing stuff in the background down here to configure the project. So just wait till that's done. Okay, so that's finally done. Now we can go over here and click on this little alien head. That's the Platform IO logo. And you'll see all these options here. All right, so now we need to connect the color shadow lamp to the computer. So you can minimize VS Code for now. So what I recommend doing is plugging in your color shadow lamp to the computer via USB and you'll see that it's setting up a device. So it found it. So it just finished setting up the device. Okay, so now we're gonna go down here um, where it says, you'll, you'll see this little plug symbol and it says auto. Click on that. And then up here you'll see auto, COM5 and custom. So COM5 is the color shadow lamp. It was just uh, detected as COM5 and the computer assigned COM5 to it. Okay. So if the computer never detected your color shadow lamp in the first place, then do this. Start with it completely powered off. So disconnect the lamp from USB, disconnect it from power, and actually turn all the potentiometers down. And then hold down this button while you're plugging it in via USB. Okay, so now I'm plugging, I'm holding down the button and I'm plugging it in via USB and you'll see it pop up here and you can let go of the button once it pops up. Um, so it's COM5. Great. But as long as there's already firmware on your color shadow lamp, you shouldn't have to do that. You shouldn't have to hold down the button. You can simply plug it in via USB. So we know that it's COM5. All you need to do is remember that it is COM5. And for you, it'll be a different number, most likely. It'll be COM, I don't know, 30 or something like that. It's just kind of random. But anyways, click on here and select whatever COM port the color shadow lamp is assigned to. So COM5 is selected, that's good. And now click upload right here. And we'll need to wait for a little while while it does its thing. The first time you upload new firmware, this is gonna take an extra long time because it has to build the firmware. So your computer's fan is gonna spool up. 
if you have a weak old computer like this one. Okay, now you'll see it says writing. So it's writing the firmware. It'll show a percentage and then 100% and success. Yay, it wrote the firmware. But wait, there's more, you're not done. Now you need to go down here and click upload file system image. So click that and now it'll do the whole process over again. And success, okay, that wasn't so bad. Now you can unplug your color shadow lamp and it wouldn't be a bad idea to do a quick power cycle. And now you should have party mode. So the, the last potentiometer is brightness. So if you turn that up, oh wait, actually, never mind. It's not in party mode yet. So the button still controls the modes. So mode one is just uh, normal, like each potentiometer controls one LED. Mode two is still mixed. So you have your brightness and then you have your hue. And then mode number three is party mode. So over here you have brightness. So you wanna crank this one all the way up normally. Um, potentiometer number two is your speed. So you can see I have that turned down and now it's fading through the colors super, super slowly. Just went from green to blue and then it'll slowly go from blue to magenta. You get the idea, okay. And then, and then the first potentiometer is saturation. So all the way to the left, it's just white and all the way to the right, it's just a pure sine wave. It's just uh, going through each color at its max brightness and they're not mixed at all. So that's party mode. Now, if for whatever reason you've had trouble connecting your color shadow lamp to Wi-Fi and you wanna be able to unlock high power mode without having to connect to Wi-Fi and deal with all that, then you can just make high power mode default in the code before you upload the code to here. And then high power mode will always be default. So to do that, go to lib and then ledcontroller.cpp. This is ledcontroller.cpp. Oh, this is the LED controller folder. And then this is the ledcontroller.cpp file. And now scroll down in here until I think it's a la around line 39. It says bool unlocked equals preferences dot get bool unlocked false. So if you want uh, high power mode to always be default, replace this false with true like that. Boom. Okay. And and now once you upload the code, it will always be on high power mode by default. Now you know how to upload code to an ESP32 based device. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye.